Thank you so much to EA for gifting me this pack and allowing me to make this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are building a, I don't even really know what you would call it. It's a bar technically. That's what I set the venue type to be. Um, but we are using the new Cozy Bistro kit to build it. I use like 90% of the items from the new kit. I sprinkled in some other stuff from other packs as well. Um, but my <laughs> inspiration for this was like wine bar slash like, I guess a wine bar. I don't really know. You can buy whatever kind of drink you want here, but I had a very like upscale, um, kind of glam, dark, cozy, like you would definitely be hearing some jazz playing in the background kind of vibe. I took a lot of inspiration from like Hollywood, Art Deco, um, and I really wanted to keep it dark and very dim lit inside, you know what I mean? Like you can barely see the people that you're with. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I had in mind when I built this. Um, yeah, I really like the way that it turned out though. I have been having a lot of fun building with these new kits. I did do a backyard build with the R Riviera Retreat Pack. I always have such a problem with that name. Um, and now we are building a bistro with the other new kit. Um, so I use, like I said, I use like 90% of the items from this kit. Um, the tile I was not a fan of and the wallpaper I was not a fan of. So I didn't get a chance to use those at all in this build, but we did use these new chairs, these new tables, these new like table accessories with the wine glasses. Um, the little overhangs are from the new kit. That sign is also from the new kit. Those wall lights are from the new kit. Um, what else is from the, I'll let you guys know like all the items that are from the kit. Um, these plants are from Debug. <laughs> I thought they looked really nice there. These lamps are from the Book Note kit. They are one of my favorite lamps ever, but look at how pretty it is at night. It's just really like, I don't want to say cozy. I don't know if that's the right word, but like vibey, I guess. <laughs> um, but we've got two separate outdoor areas for this bar, which um, I think is like a really nice, uh, it's just nice, you know what I mean? For like screenshots and all that jazz. Um, these windows are from the new kit. The ones in the front are not. I think those are base game, but I really like these new windows. I think they're awesome. They definitely have a specific style to them. So you can't really use them other than like these types of builds, but for these types of builds, I think it's pretty great. So yeah, the entrance is just there on that little outdoor patio. And I'm um, just doing some landscaping prematurely. You guys will see a lot more landscaping towards the end. So if you're into that kind of thing, I, uh, I do that for quite a while because we have a lot of empty space on this lot. So moving on to the inside, this is going to be our main area. Upstairs is gonna be the bathroom and like just like a little chill area, I guess. I really wanted this like abstract shaped bar and I tried so hard to execute it. I think it looks pretty good in the end, but that bar and those bar stools are from the new kit. They're pretty nice. I quite like it. They're very like luxurious looking. And I wanted a very like <laughs> glamorous, like eye catching background to this bar. Cause if you look up like art deco bars, a lot of them have a huge statement piece behind lots of lights, super glam. So I tried to execute it in the Sims. These lights are from um, City Living, I believe. Those columns are from Get Famous. Um, a lot of Get Get Famous stuff is quite like Art Deco-y and Hollywood-y. So I used a few pieces from there. I ended up taking off that back piece later because like, I don't know, the color was just off. It wasn't suiting the vibe. So we replaced it with something else. But these little wall panels are also from the new kit. These doors, these lovely open doors are from the new kit. These booths are from the new kit. I am literally obsessed with this like dark teal, turquoise, whatever you want to call it, color, the swatch that everything comes in. This is like 
it's just so good for this type of build. So very good call on that. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to like set up the area. Like when I started building on the inside, I was like, oh, this is kind of awkward a little bit, but we make it work in the end. These pictures are from the new kit. I'm obsessed with those. Always love some good wall art. And then that mirror is also from the new kit as well, but it was kind of weird because like it was so far up the wall. <laughs> I tried my hardest to lower it, but it just would not. So whatever, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Um, so this is what I ended up replacing the background of the bar with just these light up bottles. I think it looks a lot better. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, and those hanging wine thingies are also from the new kit, but I end up, ended up replacing them with the new lights from the kit and I think that looks a lot better. It looked a little less cluttered. This room right here, I just wanted it to be like a cozy little like seating room with fireplace. I put a TV in here. Um, I just kind of wanted it to be like a cozy escape from the hustle and bustle of the main area. So I just put a dartboard and a couple of chairs, a fireplace, nothing too crazy. And uh, upstairs here we have the bathrooms. The upstairs was huge so I had to like make the bathrooms pretty big but you can't have like a fancy bar without fancy bathrooms too, right? <laughs> so yeah, I end up walling off the toilets just for a little bit more privacy. And then we have some massive sinks in here as well. This tile, like I said, is from the Riviera Retreat Pack. I am obsessed with it, and I think that it goes really well with the style of this bar. Like I said, I was not a fan of the tile from the <laughs> from the uh, Cozy Bistro Kit. I just kind of felt like there wasn't one that was dark enough for what I wanted. So I'm sorry that I didn't use the tile. I just. I did what was best for the build, you know what I mean? <laughs> also really love these wall lights that came with the kit. I used them outside and inside and it looked really good for both situations. Um, now, we obviously needed a trash can inside and I put a dumpster outside for some spice as well. <laughs> Whenever there's a dumpster on a lot, whether it's a restaurant or a bar or whatever, my sims and random townies love to woohoo in it. So you got a woohoo spot in this um, venue, which is great. Uh, <laughs> I'm just putting more tables inside. It's just kind of out of the way though. I left the middle of the room pretty open because my venues get really crowded. I don't know if it's like that for you guys, but all the Sims are just like jammed in and it's really nice to just have like an open space to like walk around. And then these rugs from the Crystal Creations pack, holy crap, they went so well with this vibe. Now this little area, I had no idea what to do with. I was like, should I put a bathroom there? Should I like put more chairs? But I decided to make it like a little employee area. Now this kit came with a uh, coffee maker, which is kind of strange because you can't order coffee from the bar that came with the kit. But I ended up putting the coffee maker anyway. Um, and when I was play testing it, the Sims were kind of just like going back there and grabbing coffee on their own. So you can get alcohol and coffee here if you want to. Um, the coffee is actually free because you can't order it at the bar. You just like go back there and grab some. Even though it's the employee area, like Sims just don't know the difference. <laughs> so yeah, I put a sink there for the bartenders. I put the coffee maker and then I end up putting like the little wine um, storage thing from Horse Ranch since this is supposed to be a little wine bar. But yeah, these little table lights are also from the kit. I have all the kit stuff outside so that I <laughs> make sure that I use everything. We have this little wine bottle clutter item that came with the kit. Super cute. Just wish I had more swatches because they're all the same um, style of bottle. So like I said earlier, the upstairs was like way too big. So I was like, how can I make it smaller? So I made this little outdoor, uh, outback patio for as like a smoking area, quote unquote, cause a lot of bars have those. And then I put a foosball table just for like a little activity. And then I figured we needed a seating area up here as well. I ended up changing the booth out later cause I thought the booth looked a little cheap right there. <laughs> you guys will see in a minute, but yeah. So there's like an outdoor seating area up here, a balcony, and then you got a game, the bathrooms. It's pretty plain up there, but sometimes simple's good. And 
These plants from Paranormal I thought fit the vibe so well that like it's such a hard vibe to describe. The only thing I could think about is like Art Deco. Like what the style that the Paranormal pack is, whatever that is, <laughs> this is kind of like very similar to that. So shout out to the to that um, pack. Oh, here's where I changed the chairs. I thought that those chairs didn't really like fit. They were just too busy for the floor and everything like that. So I ended up picking these um, chairs from the Modern Lux kit. Absolutely love these. I use them all the time. They're just so luxurious looking. <laughs> but too many chairs was like crowding the space. I put more up here instead of the booth. I thought that looked way nicer. And then we could have like a little table with a plant. You gotta have plants, you know? And then in front of the fireplace, I think I just put like a little backless seat. So you could like watch the TV and sit in front of the fireplace if you wanted to. This is uh, from Horse Ranch. And then I found this random statue in Debug that I thought fit the vibe really well. So I just shoved that there. <laughs> um, oh, and here's where I put the wine rack in. Um, but yeah, I think the inside is done is it oh right i put these uh pillows from the modern lux kit as well they match so well i was shook i was like this is like the perfect swatch it is absolutely amazing and it just ties everything in so good it makes the booth look more luxurious than it is it makes it look less cheap you know what i mean so yeah, and here's where I'm going through every item just to make sure that I used everything and I realized I didn't use these shelves that came with the kit. So we're just gonna clutter it up with some glasses and some wine bottles. These glasses are from Debug. Uh, I've been such a fan of Debug lately. It's honestly like so easy to clutter with Debug now. So I found these bottles there too, which look pretty cool if you ask me. Um. Yep, I'm eventually getting there, eventually finding some bottles. <laughs> so yeah, um, and then I realized that this mirror I barely use, so we're gonna just put those in the bathroom instead of the other ones. Even though the other ones look really nice, I wanted to make sure I used enough items from this kit to, uh, you know, actually make it a bistro build. And then we have these cute little dividers that came with the kit. I love these so much. I thought they were perfect for giving the booth area some more privacy. And yeah, that was just me making sure I used everything and I realized that the curtains I didn't use. So I'm adding those upstairs. And now we get into some landscaping. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this little landscaping segment. Quick side note here, I have been loving like bordering my stone paths with dirt. I think it makes it look way more realistic. Uh, so I've been doing that lately. I just wanted to mention that real quick. Okay, bye.
All right, my friends, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this beautiful build. Not me calling my own build beautiful, oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, I play tested it. It works great. It looks lovely at night. Here it is with all the Sims arriving. Uh, it ended up getting really packed at the end, but everything worked out fine. It looked like everyone was enjoying themselves. I set it as a university student hangout spot. So like everyone started showing up and like whipping out their homework. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool, but yeah. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to download this lot for your save file, my gallery ID is simsav. It's the exact same as my YouTube channel. Uh, I will upload it right away for you guys. I love you so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.